Buenos dias, como esta? This is Kai Pacha with the weekly Pele Report. It's an astrological, I don't know what it is <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Just checking out the vibes of the time, using the stars. It's July 1st of 2015. I'm down here at the Rio de Machuca and uh, the moon is now in the sign of Capricorn. And down here at the river, it's uh, totally appropriate because we've got the sun conjunct Mars moving through the water sign of Cancer. I don't know if we'll see any freshwater crabs out here, but we might. You never know what's going on. So, yeah, the moon is in Capricorn. We're coming up to the full moon tonight. Tonight is the full moon. Whoa, Nelly, because it's also conjunct Pluto. The moon exactly conjuncts Pluto uh, tomorrow on Thursday, but it's close enough to have a sun conjunct Mars opposite moon conjunct Pluto. And it doesn't get much more intense or heavier than that considering that Uranus is not very far away either. Yeah, making a T-square with that. But, you know, we'll talk about more about that. The, the, you know, the nice part of it is the Venus is still conjunct Jupiter. I hope you've been seeing that out there in the night sky just, uh, just after sunset. Beautiful Venus-Jupiter conjunction. Anyway, you know, then on Friday, uh, the moon moves into Aquarius. Look at the size of that boulder over there, man. <laughs> yeah. The uh, moon moves into Aquarius, and then on Sunday, she moves into Pisces. Okay, and uh, Saturday, you know, while she's in Aquarius, she opposes Jupiter and Venus. And then on Sunday, goes into Pisces, conjoins with Neptune, squares Saturn, trines Mars, and the beat goes on and on and on. Yeah, stays in Pisces until Tuesday. She goes into Aries. Mar uh, Mercury goes into Cancer also on Wednesday. So let me find a good spot around here uh, and talk at you, talk about what that all means. Okay. Okay, everybody. I hope you can hear me and the water's not too loud and I uh, hope you can see the waterfall back there. I hope I got everything right. I'm <laughs> extremely self-conscious today. <laughs> it's amazing, man. I woke up this morning and I didn't have a Pele report, uh, you know, uh, a mantra. And I like to just like be given the mantra, you know, magically. Uh, you know, before I get out of bed. So I'm laying in bed and I'm going, I'm not going to get out of bed until I receive a mantra, you know? And I, and, and I just like, and it didn't come and it didn't come. And, I, you know, and I started getting all paranoid and freaked out that I'm not going to have a mantra. I'm going to mess up the Pele report. I'm going <laughs> to, it's like so perfect. This sun, Mars, and Cancer, you know, with this full moon coming around in Capricorn, conjuncting with Pluto, it's like Capricorn is our reputation, it's our job, our business, our office, our career, it's what other people are saying and, you know, liking or not liking us or whatever, and, and then this Cancer, you know, is, you know, my inner feelings and my emotions and my need for nurturing and acceptance and security and emotional bonding. It's the child and the adult. It's the introvert and the extrovert. It's the inner world and the outer world. And it's like, I mean, here it, it's so bizarre, right? This cancer is the inner child. And Capricorn is, you know, the great big bad world out there, especially when Pluto is there. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing this report for like five years, man. I mean, it's just like da 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 da, you know. <laughs> and like this morning, I wake up like, oh, oh, oh. I mean, this is like a full moon, you know, coming on. 
in Capricorn and Cancer. And it's not just that. Like what's really important now, and last week or just recently, it still is, the sun is square the moon's nodes. You can see it in the chart. I'm gonna put the chart at the end, uh, you know, uh, this time. So like when I'm done talking, you can look at the aspects again if you wanna learn astrology, you know? The south node of the moon is over there in Aries in the first house, you know, and it's squaring, okay? Right now it's, you know, the sun, but Mars is right there today too. And it's also square the north node of the moon over there in Libra. And when planets square the moon's nodes, they become even more highly significant. They become missing pieces to the puzzle. Before we move from Aries to Libra, before we go from our past to our future, we've got to do this Sun conjunct Mars in Cancer. And to me, Mars is, I think I said it last week, it's like the plow digging up the field, digging up the dirt, digging up the past, the feelings, the childhood, you know, they say that most, you know, most, we are like here by the age of three. Carl Koenig wrote this uh, book, The First Three Years. Yeah? I mean, really, if you look at it, most of our development that doesn't happen in the womb, it happens in that first three years. It's nonverbal. It's all emotion. It's all feeling. It's not conscious, rational, logical, reasonable, dup, 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 dup. It's just picking up on the space, on the energy, on the feelings of the mother, of the father, of the family, of the community, of the village. And this is a time then where we need to pick up the pieces of our past so that we can let go. Mars is the sword, cutting, freeing, liberating. It's great to have Venus conjunct Jupiter in Leo it's like, yeah, let's go play. Let's go out, let's have fun, let's gamble, let's go for it, you know? And it's trying that Uranus, I talked about it before. But there's this like push-pull. Leo is extrovert, Cancer's introvert. Leo is let's go get out, you know, shine like the sun, you know, and, and radiate. And Cancer the crab says, just a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know? I'm afraid and it's the, uh, I don't know what's going to happen and it's kind of scary out there. So now we have the moon coming to Pluto and then it's going to move into Aquarius and then it's going to move into Pisces. And this full moon energy is illuminating, it's illumination. And to me, what is all that illumination about? Well. You know, it's really this time. Capricorn, Pluto in Capricorn. We've talked about it. You know, it's got the seeds were sown with Uranus Pluto in the 1960s. Now they're coming into that square. Pluto square Uranus, 2012 to 2015. They're coming back again to the opposition. You know, in 2046 to 2048, the third quarter square, gonna be in 2070, 72, 73. And finally, they're gonna come back and conjoin again, I think it's in Taurus, in 2104. This Uranus square Pluto, happening at the transitional time of the age of Pisces into the age of Aquarius, is changing the guard changing the patriarchy, changing the establishment, changing, changing the laws, changing the rules. And it's an opening. And look at the 60s, free love. Now the courts are saying, and the Pope is saying, it's all right to be gay, and the courts are saying, it's all right to you know, marry if you're gay in the United States. There is like slow but big shifts happening and these other shifts a lot of it just has to do like I say with the laws 
and with the rules. It's time to change the rules of the game. Yeah, the Biddenberg, you know, whatever, you know, these big meetings of the head honchos with the big money and the big power. It's time to be changing the rules. Why? Sustainability. If we're gonna last on this planet, we've got to look at Mother Earth differently. We've got to look at our bodies differently. We've got to look at our sexuality differently. We've got to look at our religions differently. We've got to change the social structures to support a healthy healing of our planet, which is then a healthy healing of our consciousness so we don't need pharmaceutical drugs <laughs> and a healthy healing of our bodies. And so this is just like Pluto coming through here. It's a long-term process till 2024, tearing apart the old ways. And as each one of us tears ourself, our old ways, from our parents, from our grandparents, from this whole hereditary stream. Cancer Capricorn is family. Cancer Capricorn is gender selection. Whether I choose a male body or a female body to incarnate in this lifetime, these are big, root, deep issues. And they raise up a lot of what else is Capricorn? Judgment, morals, ethics, you're going to hell or heaven, you are right or you are wrong, you are in the groove or the conventional norm, or you are outside and a heretic and an eccentric and a nut. And this is really, this goes very deep because we've all been conditioned to have shame. You should be ashamed of yourself or you should feel guilty if you look weird or talk weird or act weird or feel weird or whatever. It's like you need to fix yourself. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> ah. Big bad brother, man. This is like Pluto in Capricorn. And, it's, and now it's like coming down on us. And so we can be paranoid and we can project. It's like, you know, I'm bad, I'm wrong, I'm doing something I'm not supposed to do, I'm not, you know. And this can particularly happen. You know, I did a reading yesterday, we got just a little aside here. Black Moon Lilith in Virgo. This is health, and this is also getting down on ourselves. Anxiety and worry and judgment really lowers the vibration. And then what? More parasites and viruses and bacteria get in there and we have health issues and we have health problems. And then what? It's got to be our fault. I must have done something wrong or I'm a bad person or spirit is punishing me. I want to get to the mantra here today because I just really feel like it's so healing, you know? I'm down here, you know, with the monkeys, there's a jaguar that runs around here, you know, and, and it's the animals. I just, you know, saved this butterfly that was like, you know, wings like this huge, <laughs> stuck in the house this morning. Everything's bigger in the tropics, man. The spiders, the tarantulas are like this big, scorpions are like this long. Anyway, the mantra for this week, yeah. My forest friends are my teachers because they have no false beliefs. They are not ashamed or feel bad. They come and go as they please. Cancer, this Uranus and Aries has to do with instincts. It has to do with our gut feelings, not about judgments, Capricorn, right or wrong, good or bad, heaven or hell. We are now collectively coming more 
into validating our feelings. And it's and even if we are in pain or suffering, it's not because we're being punished. Look at the animals. You know, I remember uh, you know a number of years back, a deer got caught in my barbed wire fence. You know, and it was like freaking out and screaming and blood all over and it's in great pain. I know it is. Well, I mean, we freed it, but just, you know, did the deer feel like it was being punished or take it personally like it was bad <laughs> or it did something wrong so it got caught in the barbed wire fence? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beauty of our instincts and the beauty, you know, of our feelings. They're not logical. They're not rational. They don't have, there's not about reasons for everything, which leads to maybe some superstitions about things and takes you way off into, you know, the psychic ward. <laughs> the nut house, <laughs> you know? It's just like, whoa, baby. Come in, get real, feel the feelings. Don't be ashamed or guilty or punished or bad or wrong. It just is. This planet is freaking nuts and crazy. And there's a lot of pain and there's a lot of suffering. And it doesn't mean that these people are bad or wrong. It means that everyone is learning lessons. We're all just learning lessons. This is Jupiter and Venus. We're learning how to love. We're learning how to shine our light and shine our hearts in the midst of anger frustration, feeling oppressed, yeah, and you know, wanting to lash out, wanting to fight, wanting to just like get this over with or get this done with and a lot of impatience and frustration and just like, ah, you know, and during these times, this full moon is very full of angst. <laughs> this time of feeling and angst, think of our forest friends. Breathe. Think of the lazy lion licking its paws. <laughs> Jupiter, Venus, laying in the sun. Be a forest friend. Get in touch with your animal self. Get out of the super ego that's got to be right and got to have it right and got to get it done and got to meet the demands. Sorry. We're coming in the Pluto polarity point. The evolutionary path now is cancer feeling loving. So one more time. My forest friends are my teachers because they have no false beliefs. They're not ashamed or feel bad, but come and go as they please. <laughs> May you come and go as you please. Follow the feeling, follow the heart. Namaste, aloha, so much love.